there's something in the middle, the God bit, which uh, I don't really agree with. But at the same time, you know, I'm alive, and that is something I'd love to celebrate. But I suppose the God bit uh, delivers the values and, and uh, the social side of it and uh, helping others and all that sort of stuff in the, in the first place. I'm not sure about that. I think that for some people it does, but for plenty of others, it's, you know, just being as a community. There are lots of people who don't believe in God who still believe in good. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, people seem to be reacting. We've got an awesome motto to show your love, which is live better, help often, and wonder more. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it depends whether you're religious or not. Okay. The idea is gaining momentum across the world. And from Adelaide, you're heading to Melbourne, Brisbane, and Sydney. What kind of numbers uh, are you getting? Well, we had about 100 in Adelaide yesterday, uh, in Perth, where we were on Sunday, there were, you know, 100 or so as well. And, uh, yeah, there just seems to be people all over the world who hear about it and think, you know, I'll have a bit of that. Yeah. Do you have the collection bit as well? Uh, yeah, that is the only oh. way that this happens. We've got the collection bit in the service, and we're also doing a Kickstarter, no, an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign so that we can actually build an international organisation, which is, you know, we just didn't expect it to take off like this. And the long hair and the beard, it's all Jesus' life, isn't it? Is that part of the image? I know. I always have to. I mean, I've had this haircut for years, and now yeah. suddenly I've started doing this, and people think that it's deliberate. Oh. Uh, but no, it's yeah. just the, uh, my hair. It could be a sign. Sanderson, thank you for you that. You probably appreciate it. time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Coachmaster. Now, coming up, the great...